Hey guys, welcome back once again. In this video, I am going to show you how to make API call using hooks in React functional component. As you can see here, I have simple React app with title React app. So let's get started. Let's move to the VS Code. And you can see here I have one heading React app, right? So in order to make a API call, we will be using hooks called use effect. So use effect is a hook by using which we can get the functionality of component did mount, component did update, and component will unmount. Okay. So here basically we are going to use first one component did mount functionality okay so first of all let's import this use effect from react so use effect okay and what we will do here we will write use effect okay and this is a function which is gonna to take a callback function okay so callback function and here we will write our logic to make API call I need a URL right so what we will do we will be using JSON placeholder okay so you can find this link in description of this video where we can get the post okay so basically if we are hitting this URL we will get this many post so let's copy this and let's define here const url equal to and here we will define this value okay the next thing we have to make api calls so for that we will be using fetch okay and here we will pass our url and this is gonna to be a get call so we don't need to specify any method and this is gonna to give me a response okay so i will get a response and i will convert this response into json so response dot json okay and now i will get the exact response okay so let me do here console dot log to response okay and that means component did mount functionality so i need to specify here comma and empty array that means this use effect code will be execute only for the first time okay save it and let's come to the ui and here let's click right and go to inspect mode and here go to console so you can see here we have array of 100 so let's open it and have a look so we have here body id title and user id okay so now we are able to make a successful api call okay so now what we have to do we have to show the post on the ui so for that what I will do I will create a state here by using use state so let's call it as post and here set post okay and use state this value is gonna to be empty for the first time and the next what I will do once I will get the data I will change the state of post so I will set this post okay and now what I will do once I have data I can print all data here so I can write here I have my data in post so post dot and I can map through it and this is gonna to give me a single post and what I will do I will do let's do console log to posts okay save it 
and let's come to the UI. So here you can see we are getting post one by one. So let's expand a post and let's print title of all the post. So what I will do instead of doing console log here, okay, I will return a post. So div, okay, and inside this div, I will write here p paragraph, and inside this paragraph, I will print so post dot title, okay, save it, and let's come to the UI. So you can see here we have post and title okay now i can do one more thing i can print here post dot id okay so we have post dot id so let me do this okay save it and now let's come to the ui so you can see here we have printed here 100 post title okay so and this state is existing in this post okay guys so basically in this video we have seen how to make a api call using use effect hook yeah and how to change get the data and set to the state in functional component all right that's it for this video guys if you like this content, do like, share and subscribe. See you in next video. Thank you for watching.